One of them girls getting ready to go to the gate here tonight as well off the rail. Claire McDonald doing the driving 7-2 to two choice. So they're getting set to ready to go. It is post time for race number 6. Let's send it back upstairs for the race call with Vance Cameron. Three-year-old Phillies going to the gate in the 6. One of them girls. Lights out. Roses for Jenny. Stone Beach Lily. The General's Pride. TL's Betty. Can't stop the loving. Elm Grove Quest on the grandstand side. It's the third division of the Atlantic Sire Stakes. Top of the stretch. They're approaching a start. Rough and pacing roses for Jenny is leaving out. Elm Grove Quest on the far outside. TL's Betty is there. Also leaving. Can't stop the loving as they round the turn. Going to the opening eight. And it's roses for Jenny. Coming up three wide. Can't stop the loving. Racing from third. TL's Betty. Now fourth is Elm Grove Quest. One of them girls races fifth. Now in sixth. That is Stone Beach Lily. Seventh is the General's Pride. Lights out. Had a little trouble rounding the first turn. Spence put her in the safety lane. Out of harm's way. On by the opening quarter. 28 and 3. And we have a brand new race leader. TL's Betty and Murner has taken over. Can't stop the loving now. Second. Roses for Jenny. Third. Racing fourth. That's Elm Grove Quest. Fifth up the rail. One of them girls. Racing from sixth. Stone Beach Lily. Gapping out in seventh. The General's Pride and Trelly the field. That is lights out. Halfway home in the six. TL's Betty, the midway point leader. In line to Murner. Racing from second is Can't Stop the Lovin'. Around the turn third. Roses for Jenny. 58 and two was the half. Racing fourth is Elm Grove Quest on the outside. One of them girls fifth. With the front pack in six is Stone Beach Lily. At the back the General's Pride. And lights out. Three quarters coming next. TL's Betty getting them there. Roses for Jenny on the outside. Now second. Can't stop the loving in the pocket. Third. Three quarters up in a one. 28 and four. Eighth of a mile left to go. TL's Betty turning for home the leader. Roses for Jenny is second. Can't stop the loving. Coming up the inside. One of them girls is there. Stone Beach Lily. They're across the track. But they're all in behind TL's Petty and Murner in the Sire Stakes. Time for the mile. One fifty-eight three. All right, here's a look at the Universal Media Slow Mo for you in the sixth race tonight. Atlantic Sires takes three year old Phillies, and it is TL's Betty. And Murner didn't wait long, just waited for the dust to settle in the front end, and he put this Philly on the point. She rolls on to her fourth victory of the season. You're bang on, Lee. Again, the three, the six, and the seven, they were all gunning out of there. David wanted the front, so did Jason, but Adam said no way. He sat three early, popped out, and uh, was a retake 28 and three, 58 and two. Uh, David was sitting second, 128 and four. Jason went first, and they decided here in the lane now as uh, he's under siege here late but going to hang on with TL's buddy after 28 and 3 58 and 2 128 and 4 still there in the very end as Vance said they're all behind him at the wire 158 and 3 Murner and TL's Betty in the sixth at Red Shore Summerside.
Well, there's a look, uh, Vance, um, at another winner heading to the Woodmere Standard Beds Winter Circle tonight. And her conditioner, Melissa Rennie Lee, is having a career year for the young lady. T. Gals Betty going to the Woodmere Standard Breads Winner's Circle here in the Six Race Sire Stakes. Bay facing Philly 3 by Pang Shui off the Camelot. Damn Goddard's art. Owned by Jeffrey Campbell of Judique, Nova Scotia. Gary McPherson's the breeder on the Philly. Trained by Melissa Rennie and driven to victory by Adam Murner. Time for the mile, 158 and 3. T. Gals Betty in the Atlantic Sire Stakes at Summerside.